Greetings fellow humans, Bad Mark here with another transmission from Mech Tech Keyboards. Today we're taking a look at a new keyboard from Royal Clutch, the S98. Very interesting keyboard. I've actually already gone through the review process and just realized for some reason the unboxing is nowhere to be found. I don't know if I didn't record it, but then accidentally got deleted in some sort of cleanup, but it's gone. So I'm filming just the intro here real quick this is a 98 percent or an 1800 since it has the uh, the exploded out arrow cluster it does have a full zero uh, on the numpad and since i already did the unboxing just real quick this is what's included in the box we do have a nice dust cover that fits perfectly onto the keyboard we have a switch and keycap puller, your standard ones. This one's actually branded with Royal K. We have a nice rubberized C to C cable with a USB C to USB A adapter attached to it with a plastic tail. And we also have four spare switches. This is the pale green tactile, which is pre lubed and actually is a decent little tactile switch. It's a little bit more. Um, tactile than a brown not quite that much it's a like a capital p uh, type of tactile but with a really light spring so it's just slightly more tactile than a brown i would put it at a light medium uh, or a medium light depending on how you want to phrase that but thankfully they included a dust cup which does help to keep the keyboard clean well how many times i've taking keycaps off of keyboards and I'm like what's the last time you've cleaned it you're supposed to clean your keyboards <laughs> I have seen some things so anyway uh today I take a look at the RK S98 and find a lot of things that I really enjoy but I'm gonna go ahead and jump into um my original filming of this video where we're to the point where I'm plugging it in and we're getting into everything that this keyboard has to offer now along with the keyboard we actually have a really nice uh user manual that kind of runs through all the setup what we have in the box it's, it appears to be only in english so this is all it's, this is a nice booklet it tells you how to uh, uh looks like you can do a uh, custom backlighting straight from the keyboard uh how to select the backlightings from the menu storage for the 2.4 gigahertz dongle how to connect bluetooth 2.4 etc this is one of the nicer manuals i've seen for these pre-built keyboards some time if we plug it in nice royal clutch animation it's a little uh, iffy yeah it's not pulling anything i'm gonna guess that we're gonna need to get into the screen if or to get into the software if we want to um modify any of of those so oh we can control time from here or that was just selecting the time screen uh turn the other way and we can go into the bluetooth or 2.4 all right so i'm not in wired anymore in node anymore the colors are quite nice and they're pretty clear i'm gonna go ahead and unplug it real quick i wanna all right so let's take a look under the hood a bit here all right so let's check out these stabilizers all right we have a oh wow we actually have a steel plate i was not expecting that hmm okay but how well are these plate mounted stabilizers they are very well attached and they are definitely lubricated now oh wow this is the first RK that I can say. It has a PET film layer as well as an IXPE sheet. And it's south facing. Wow, there's a lot of burst in this. That sounds really nice. Are these cherry? They almost look like a cherry profile. Oh, I think that might be cherry. And those are definitely double shot. These are some pretty interesting keys, and it's not copying that I know of it off anyway, any known colorway. I love the large legends on the keys. Um, 
I'm honestly surprised it's sounding this good on a steel plate. Um, obviously, the the foams and everything are definitely coming into play here. So, and it does look like we also have some uh, pretty dense foam. Could be a rubber silicone below the PCV. So that's why we're getting. We have switches that have no ping. And we have nice padding. So, so the steel plate doesn't do any reverberation. Yep, these are cherry profile. Huh. Um, which is just really nice. I don't think that's going to work over wired, actually. I'm almost positive that will not work over wired. I mean, wireless. That's only going to work over wired. So, but... If you were to tell me without me have known that this has a steel plate, I would have been like, nah, you're crazy. I, and I would have been wrong. Um, I cannot believe that... This keyboard has a steel plate. No ring, no ping, no nothing. So, I have got to say, this is probably... I, I will say it. This is... One of the better RK boards I've I reviewed. Now it is huh? I say it's not gasket mount, but it does even seem to have a bit of flex. Now I wonder. Unfortunately I had a little issue there. I uh, unplugged the keyboard, but somehow I must have hit pause on something or stop and I didn't get to record this. So I'm going to do this re again real quick. Um, I want to show how easy this is to open. Now it came with a, uh, a, a, a pick that's meant for opening devices. So I was like, could it really be that easy? So I went ahead and I stuck my regular spudger in between both the top and the bottom halves. Found my space. Found a place to Wedge myself into there and then started to unclip the clips that go all the way around the keyboard. As you can see, there's about uh, eight clips on the top and the bottom and a couple on the side. But go through and unclip all the switch or all the clips, then go on the sides, make sure to unclip the clips on the side. Same thing for the front. close it in the process. You want to make sure all the clips are undone before you start to do anything. All right. Oh, probably turn it on too. So once you've got all the clips undone, you can flip it over to see what we've got. Now, uh, this JST connector, pretty easy to come in and out. We can see that we have a modified top mount, a top mount on an in-stock keyboard. A steel plate, though it still sounds good. Um, we have an open cell foam with a silicone layer below that's actually protecting the battery below it, which is a 3,750 milliamp hour battery. And this goes into all the little ridges and slots in here, so it fits nice and smooth. Um, this daughter board is for, or this cable, the JSD cable is for the daughter board control, but it also, um, the battery's connected to this daughter board. And then we can see the ribbon cable here for the switch and the screen assembly. So I have to say, this is pretty cool. We can see the wireless module, J a JST connector there, or the pins for JST. Um, but it's a steel plate and it's a top mount. So they kind of kind of breaking the rules, but it turned out pretty good. And I'm surprised at how easy this is to open. And the fact that they included a pick, they're like, hey, you want to you want to mod it? Go for it. Because, I mean, say you, all you wanted to do was temp this tape layer. Well, <laughs> unplug this, put the tape in, plug this back in. 
you're done. Um, I'm almost tempted to do that now, but we're sticking stock. I will come back to this keyboard because there's a couple of different things I'd like to do with it because I'm interested with that steel plate and I might be able to take advantages in different ways, but that's, that's, that'll be in the future. But to close it back up, um, what I found is the easiest is to make sure the corners are aligned first. You kind of want to come in from the front to hook because it clips better onto the front, but you want to make sure these corners are well aligned, the top and the bottom. And then that's where you want to start with the corners, clipping the corners into place, and then it'll help to make sure that the entire board is aligned so that you can clip in the rest of the clips around the perimeter. And we're closed. I mean, that's can't get any easier than that, honestly. And clips, as long as you do them right, they're not going to break. Screws going into plastic, they're eventually going to strip. That's just a fact. But clips, if you do it properly, you can open and close it many, many times. As long as you do it properly, as long as no clips are engaged when you go to lift, no clips should break. And as long as you're not sitting there like using a metal screwdriver trying to pick them apart, this plastic should give before the clip does or the pick plastic should give. So I got to say, I am well impressed. I was going to say, is it got, does it have gasket mounting? Because it has a little bit of flex, not anything amazing, but it has a tiny amount of flex. It has pretty good uniformity. I mean, this has better uniformity than some gasket mount keyboards that I've heard. It's, they sound almost the same going up the rows. I'm honestly impressed with how well this sounds. Um, I got to give it to Oil Clutch. They have really knocked it out of the park with this one. I hope that they keep with this series. I mean, this is just the RK S98. Well, I'd love to see an S68, an S65, an S61. Um, I'd like to see what you guys will do you know, with this particular design. I love the colors. I love that, you know, you have the two different, you have the olive or forest green, but you also have the white and the keycaps. Though I wish there would have been some extra, but that's fine. We got extra switches. The keycaps are actually of decent quality. They're 1.6 millimeter double shot PBT. Um, they have some nice large legends on them, which are crisp and clear. Um, all of the modifiers, follow the same they're not you know some of them uppercase all some of them some lowercase some lowercase it's regular case on all of them and it's and they look nice i like the combination of colors it's almost like copper but it's not copying any keycap set that i can recall anyway off the bat um this is a this is a pretty interesting keyboard i i will definitely be moving this into my rotation as daily driver as it is right now i want to find out a little bit more about the switch i've been a little delayed over the last few weeks we had between a combination of some family issues weather that was just wackier than it's ever been power outages a totaling almost two weeks um, it's been a little kind of a rough start to the new year, but we're finally starting to get back into the groove. So I've had this for a minute and I've been really wanting to take a look at it, but I do my best to not even touch a keyboard until I review it. I want my first impressions to be what kind of guide. I mean, when I come back to it, then, hey, I've been using this for a while. This is what I think, you know, this is what I liked before I don't like or what I didn't like, I actually do, you know, so that I can come back. But my first video on a keyboard i like to do it with little to no you know background knowledge about it like hey i've just seen the picture you know and read maybe some of the description and say okay yeah i'd like to take a look at it so i want to thank royal clutch for sending me out this keyboard they've always been um, very affable they work very well with myself and with customers when there's been was only a couple times there's been issues but you know customers have posted something and i'm like hey is this the store you bought it from and I've put them in contact with the right people and they've always gotten solutions. They stand behind their products. I'm like a couple other companies that I won't mention here. So, um, and I mean, they've been building keyboards for quite some time. Who of us don't, doesn't have an RK61 or 68 or 71 or 
100 or 84 sitting somewhere, you know, in storage. If we've been doing this for a while, we probably do. I know I have a stack of Royal Clutch boards myself, and most of them I purchased on my own before I even really started getting into reviewing them, opening them, you know, modding them and such. So I got to say, I am very well pleased with this keyboard. So I'm going to put this in my daily rotation starting tomorrow, and I will be coming back to it because I do want to do a few mods to it. Not much, but I want to see if I can change it, the sound, and I do want to put a different set of keycaps. I've got a key set of keycaps I think will, they'll contrast, but I think they'll look really great with this set. I'm probably going to remove the uh, logo. No offense, Royal Kleds, I understand, but I like my look clean, and this could be done with a little non-acetone nail polish remover but i'll do that on video um, and i've got other videos showing exactly how to do it but i gotta say that this so far is one of if not my favorite royal clutch board to date just the specs today we are taking a look at the royal clutch s98 it is a new three mode 1800 layout keyboard from royal kludge that includes a screen and a knob the screen is customizable with the available software for download and also includes controls for the keyboard this is a top mount steel plate that also includes ixpe and pet layers above the pcb to add that more poppiness of sound this one in particular comes with pale green tactile switches which have 40 grams of force and a 3.4 millimeter total travel, but are also available with linear viridians as well in a couple of different colorways. It is a south facing three and five pin hot swap PCB that also includes a USB A pass through port. The keycaps that are included are double shot ABS keycaps with 1.6 millimeter of thickness. The battery included is a 3750 milliamp hour battery. Keyboard comes weighing in at 1212 grams. The chit of this keyboard sits at 19 millimeters while the back sits at 32 millimeters, providing for a default typing angle of 7 degrees. Raising the first set of included flip out feet will raise the back up to 36 millimeters, changing the angle to 9 degrees. Using the final flip out pair of feet will raise the back up to 42 millimeters off the typing surface, changing your angle of typing to 12 degrees. This keyboard currently MSRPs for $129.99, but is on sale for $99 without a coupon code. Well, I got to say that was a lot less painful than I thought. The software has gotten so much better with these uh, arcade boards. We have three different function layers. We have a tap layer. We have the ability to set the debounce rate. Um, the uh, TFT uploader is really nice. Um, it does take a little while, but it doesn't crash. Most of the other ones will crash on a bigger animation. It allows you to resize um, the GIFs so that they properly will fit within the screen. Um, it is really nice. Overall, this keyboard, I'm... I am beyond impressed. Now, it does sell for $129.95, which I think is a little bit high, but it's currently on sale until the 1st of March for $99. And I'm going to guess that that's going to be a regular price that they put it on sale for. $99, I think that this is a very good keyboard, even compared to the other ones out there. Yes, we have a steel plate, but it's not affecting the performance of this at all partially because it is plate mounted it is well dampened and it has that ixpe as well as the pet layer it has a very uniform sound going up and down the rows um, it has some really nice 1.6 millimeter thick double shot abs keycaps um, it's hot swap with some really decent tactile switches 40 grams of force 4.3 millimeter travel so um, south facing there's a lot that they got right. I like the two-tone. I like the lines of it. Um, the connectivity, very quick. Bluetooth connected almost immediately to both Linux and Windows without any issue whatsoever. So there's a lot of things that they've done right on this keyboard. And I have to say, 
that is right now this is my favorite royal clutch keyboard it is going to be going into my rotation uh, for daily drivers and when i come back to it i definitely will be coming back to this and do some mods if you guys have any questions any comments i do my best to answer all comments posted down below let's get a conversation going if you have any suggestions for me to mod this keyboard or something you'd like for me to take a look at when i come back to it or if you have any questions about its use or anything at all feel free to reach out to me i'm always here like i said i do my best to answer all comments as quickly as possible i like to engage with the folks that are watching my videos. I know not everyone is crazy about how in-depth I go into, but the majority of the feedback that I receive thanks me for going into such detail because I'm not making commercials here. I want to inform mechanical keyboard hobbyists about mechanical keyboards, and I'm going to be honest about it. And I appreciate Royal Kludge. They've always been very, very good to me. Um, they communicate with me. Or they allow me to be honest with my reviews of their keyboards. They never knock me for anything that I might say that might be detrimental or negative about it. They actually ask more questions because they look to fix it. And I've actually seen this. Royal Kludge is one of the companies that I've actually seen them take what I believe is my input. Could be other people's input as well, but take it and add it to newer revisions of their keyboards and newer keyboards. So they are keeping track. The only thing that I'd like to see from Royal Kludge I've not seen yet is more via keyboards. Make it an option. I mean, okay, closed source software for those that want to use it, but for those of us that are running Linux or running Mac, please give us an option. And using whether it be via, Vile, QMK, ZMK, there are numerous open source firmwares that will allow us to control the keyboards without needing to have a windows machine handy that's the only thing that i ask of rk that they they consider doing this now um like i said i'm going to go ahead and use this keyboard as my daily driver to see you know how much more i like it or dislike it when i come back to it i'll report that and i will apply some mods to it again if you have any ideas any questions let me know let's let's uh let's mod this together for right now, I'm going to leave you guys with a stock sound test of the RKS-98 with the uh, pale green uh, light tactile switches and these double shot lovely ABS keycaps. I love the bloody big legends. They're just, that's, that's just me all day long. So I do hope that you enjoyed the review and you enjoy the sound test. And again, anything at all, let me know down below. Until the next transmission, keep calm and keyboard on.